Hey guys, welcome back to another small closet declutter. I know I just decluttered my closet a few months ago, but clearly it has gotten out of control again and it really needs to be decluttered and organized all over again. And I thought that I would bring you guys along with me for that since this just happens sometimes. And I wanted to let you know that if you do decluttering projects and then you turn around and everything is out of control and you don't know how it happened, that happens to me too. It happens to everybody and it's okay. Don't let it discourage you. Don't feel defeated. Instead, we can just try again. So I am going to be using the KonMari method to inspire me and help keep me on task. And I'm also going to be sharing some decluttering tips with you guys and some affordable organization solutions that have really helped me to transform this space. Make sure that you watch through until the end if you want to see some satisfying before and after shots. But we have just jumped right into this. And of course, I'm going to start by completely taking everything out of here and clearing this space. So one of the things about the KonMari method that really inspires me is this concept of completely clearing the space and pulling everything out into the open before you start decluttering or trying to do any kind of organizing. I love this for a few different reasons, but probably the biggest one is that when you pull everything out like this, you can really see exactly how much stuff you have and what you are trying to cram into these small spaces and areas of your home. And that helps to motivate you or at least it motivates me anyway to really be ruthless with my declutter and really assess what it is that sparks joy for me what is functioning or adding value to my life and rid myself of anything that is not adding to my life or the space or whatever it is that I'm working on. So if you are struggling with decluttering, definitely try this. Go space by space and pull everything out and take a good look at what you have and really assess if you love it or if you don't and just get rid of the things you don't love. Here is everything that I pulled out of this closet and this is just crazy. Most of this I had already decluttered before and Goodwill either wasn't open or I just hadn't had a chance to get there yet and it all ended up back in here and mixed in with stuff that I want to keep. So now I'm just going to have to go through it all again. And that's a little bit embarrassing to admit but at the same time like that just happens sometimes so this is real life. Sometimes we don't get to the things we think we're going to get to. I am also going to go through my clothes again just because this pile is so high up here and it's been a while since I've gone through them, but I know like most of these clothes I think are going to just be donated because they've just been sitting in the bottom of the closet. So I think I had decluttered them before, but yeah, this is just so crazy. But I did get most of the stuff out of the closet. I took everything off of that shoe rack that was sitting there. I left my husband's stuff just because that's his stuff and I'm not going to be able to declutter it, although I probably will organize it a little bit later. But yeah, most of it is empty. There's a couple things that I left over here on my side of the closet, like my graduation gown and a little pantsuit, just things that you've always kind of either keep for sentimental reasons or you just need in the back of your closet and then I have like some scarves and belts and things that I know I'm not going to be getting rid of but other than that everything is out so I'm going to start um, sorting through all of this stuff I think I think I'm going to try to start with like the shoes and clothes that should be the easiest since, like I said, most of this is probably going to go. Um, but I think I'm going to start over here and then kind of work my way across. 
So I actually made the decision to not even sort through this pile of clothes and instead to just get rid of all of it. It's been just shoved into the floor of my closet since the last time that I did a declutter. I thought I might sell some of it. I was second guessing getting rid of some of it, but at the end of the day, it has just been in the floor of my closet for four months now. I've not reached for any of these items. I've not thought about any of them. So that means it's safe to go ahead and declutter them. I'm not missing them, they're not sparking joy, and they're not serving any kind of purpose whatsoever, and I just don't need them in my home. Now, I did go through some of the items that were Sawyer's because I also had decluttered some of her clothing and I just kind of shoved it into my closet. Raise your hand if you are ever guilty of doing that. But I did sort through some of it to see if there's anything that I could maybe sell at Once Upon a Child in my local area just to make some money back off of this project and pay pay for the organization supplies that I had and I ended up actually making $30 which more than paid for the organization in this space so I was really happy that I took the time to do that but other than that I just put everything into bags and I did take it to Goodwill on the same day so none of this stuff is in my house any longer and I'm so happy about that. Now shoes are actually something that are really difficult for me to declutter. I think everybody has at least one thing that's hard for them to let go of. And when you are tackling whatever that item is for you, my best advice is to touch those things multiple times and really assess if they are serving a purpose and functioning or if they are not. Because for me, all of the shoes can actually spark joy just because I really love them and enjoy them and I like having them around around, but what does not spark joy for me is clutter. That sparks anxiety. So if I have not worn a pair of shoes or a sweater or a t-shirt in over six months and it's just taking up space, that ultimately is causing me more anxiety than happiness and I need to just go ahead and let go of it. Another part of the Kanmari method that really inspires me is the concept of only keeping items that spark joy. Now for me, that means only keeping things that are functional or practical, that have a place or a space in my home. And if I am going through a bunch of items that don't meet any of that criteria or most of that criteria, it makes it a lot easier for me to go ahead and discard it. And it makes it a lot easier mostly because I am very secure in knowing what sparks joy and what doesn't for me personally. So I would definitely advise you that before you start on any kind of decluttering project, really assess what it is that sparks joy for you. If you are more practical and functional, or even if you are more sentimental and emotional, it does not matter at all which side of that spectrum you fall on, just so long as you are very clear in what it means to you and you can use that to help guide you as you complete your project. One last bit of encouragement that I wanted to give to you guys actually comes from the comment section of these videos whenever I upload them. I always get overwhelmed with comments from people saying that I'm not decluttering enough, that it isn't a true declutter because I'm not being a minimalist. And I just wanted to let you guys know that decluttering is not synonymous with minimalism. You do not have to be a minimalist in order to declutter your space. It really just means discarding or donating anything that you're not using or that you don't want in your house. So please do not put that pressure on yourself that you have to get rid of 90% of your things or you can't declutter anything at all. It is not one extreme or another. It is just routine maintenance and really assessing the items that you have in your home so that they don't overwhelm you and overtake your space.
I also always get a ton of questions asking what I do with the items that I've decluttered and you kind of saw in the beginning of the video I pretty much just shove them in the closet and pretend like they're not there anymore <laughs> but really what I like to do is take them to Goodwill or to a local women and children's shelter whenever I can occasionally I will sell things on Facebook marketplace or to once upon a child and Plato's closet but for the most part I like to donate and recycle as much as I can. All right, so I went through everything and these are the shoes for Derek and I that I'm keeping and this goes in the kitchen. I didn't get rid of as many clothes as I was hoping to, but I did get rid of a few and I know that I wear and love everything that I'm keeping, so that's really all that matters. And then all of this right here, I am taking to donate. All of it. I didn't even go through like some of these bins here because I haven't gone through them and I can't say how long. Like I don't remember ever reaching into them, which means I probably don't need the stuff in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and donate it. And I'm just going to get all of this out of my room and into the car right now before I forget about it. And as soon as I'm done filming this video, I'm taking it to Goodwill and getting it out of the house. But yeah, I'm just going to go load all of this into my car real quick. And then I'm going to get some cleaning supplies and the toolbox so that I can clean the closet while it's pretty much empty. And I'm also going to take out this shoe rack here. So I'm actually going to blame this shoe rack on why I have been unable to keep this space decluttered and organized. It's kind of awkward, definitely not big enough, and it prevents me from putting any kind of other real organization into this space. So I finally decided that I'm just going to go ahead and take it off of the wall and get rid of it. Even for resale purposes in the future, I don't see how it would add any kind of value to any future owner's life, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it off of the wall. It was a bit difficult to get off. There were a lot of anchors in the wall that were supporting it and holding it up, so it did create some holes. I will probably do another bedroom makeover where I paint sometime in the future, so I'm not going to patch those holes right now, but eventually it will get done. I won't leave them there forever. I did want to let you guys know that I have another DIY home makeover series coming up. Actually, the very next upload after this one will be the first video of that little mini series. I still have not decided if it's going to be three or four videos. I have two of them filmed already. I did do a makeover on Sawyer's bedroom. Sawyer is my two-year-old toddler. And I did a makeover on her closet as well, and I'm so pumped for you guys to be able to see that. I still have to do my entryway and my living room and I'm hoping I'll be able to get to both of those projects here very very soon but if not I will definitely be getting to my entryway for this mini series. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you have your notification bell turned on so that you don't miss any of those videos coming up because they are really good ones and I know you'll love them. Okay, so I have everything wiped down and vacuumed really well, so it's all clean in here. I'm not going to worry about patching these holes for now. Those came from like the anchors in the shoe rack, but I think I might do like a little mini makeover in this closet at some point. I'm definitely going to paint my bedroom at some point, which means I'll paint the closet, so I'll worry about that then. Right now, I just kind of want to get everything in order. I am going to have to reorganize this stuff, but I got um, these shoe racks here. I got two of them from Target, and they were really inexpensive, but I think that they're going to do a better job in there. And then a couple of these bins for our sandals. So I'm going to put these together, get them into the closet, and then start putting things back in here and getting some organization going.
The biggest struggle that I've had with organizing this closet has been with trying to find some kind of organization for my shoes without spending any money. I am such a cheapo, I never wanted to invest in shoe racks or shoe organization and it has just been a struggle for me trying to keep them in containers and bins and utilizing that shoe rack that was in here before. But I finally just bit the bullet and I bought these two from Target. They were only $10 a piece which is really affordable affordable and they can either stand on their own or be stacked together. You will see later on that I ended up stacking mine together and I absolutely love them. They were really easy to put together as well. You don't need any tools and it came with all of the parts that were needed but I'm really happy with this purchase. I wish that I had bought these years ago and saved myself a ton of stress and anxiety and I will leave them linked down in the description box in case you are interested in checking them out and need some shoe organization in your life. It's also worth mentioning that on the outside of the box, it said that these would only hold six pairs of shoes. So I was a little bit nervous and that's actually why I bought two instead of just one. But when I was putting all of my shoes on here, it held way more than six pairs of shoes easily. You could easily fit eight to 10 pairs of shoes on here. And I was still glad that I got two because I ended up needing both of them anyway. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a new tip that I'm recommending to you guys when you do decluttering and organizing projects is to go ahead and invest in your organization solutions. You all know that I am always on a budget. I try to do things as cheap as possible and I always try to look for the deals where I can. I am no stranger to the Dollar Tree. I love their organization and I'm always searching for clearance finds, but sometimes you just need to invest in and what you know you need and bite the bullet, make that investment up front and save yourself the headache and the stress and anxiety of trying to avoid it. Like these shoe racks, I could have been so much happier years ahead of time had I just spent the $20 instead of wasting my time and energy trying to find solutions that I ultimately knew were not going to work. On the racks themselves, I tried to put all of our sneakers and my boots that I like to wear in the fall and winter. And then I had those two bins down there on the bottom. And originally I thought I was just going to put some sandals and flip flops in there. I had one for me and one for Derek, but that ended up not being enough. And I went back to the store and I got two more and that was perfect. I did not declutter any of Derek's clothes. He is one of those people that has sentimental and emotional attachments to things and he does not like to declutter anything. When I ask him to, he gets such bad anxiety about it. So I spared him for this project. I didn't ask him to get rid of anything, but I did just reorganize it to make it look a little nicer in there. And then underneath of his clothes on his side, I'm just going to put our luggage and a couple of WWE wrestling chairs that he has and he's just kept in here and won't let me get rid of and then I'm gonna go over to the other side of my closet and I'm gonna start hanging up all of my clothes in here now I'm just kind of going to put them in here to begin with and sort them from dresses sweaters long sleeves three-quarter sleeves and short sleeves and then eventually I will go back and try to color coordinate it although I don't remember if I filmed color coordinating or if if that is just something you're going to see in the end shots. Oh. 
I'm really curious to know how do you guys organize your clothes in your closet? Do you color coordinate or do you just kind of throw it all in there? And how do you organize the rest of the stuff that you keep in your closet or do you only keep clothes in there? I would love to get one of those custom built closet organization systems, but that is just not in my budget. And so I try to make do with what I have, but I seriously one day would love to have one of those custom organization systems. Okay, here are those two extra bins that I was talking about. I brought them up from the floor and put them on the top shelf and moved all of my boots back down. And that ended up working out a lot better. I love the way that this turned out. Okay, that was the last thing that I needed to do and now I'm just going to show you guys the before clips one more time so that you can remember what a complete disaster this closet was. Completely out of control, total chaos, but that's just real life sometimes and I'm happy to be able to share it with you. But just keep on watching because it looks totally different now. This was a complete transformation and I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Okay, this is what my closet looks like now and it is a completely different space than what it started out as. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm so glad that I can open my closet doors now and not instantly get anxiety looking at that mess or worry that things are just going to topple out and something's going to break or whatever the case may be. It is just completely reorganized in here. It's functioning a lot better and I'm so happy with it. But this is going to be everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and that you felt super motivated and encouraged by this real life closet declutter and reorganization. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one.